There we go. Oh. oh this is awesome. Made it to the top. Holy smokes. Woo! I've laughed, I've cried, I've had fun. All I gotta say is God is good, God is great. What's up, buddy? You all good? Oh, I was eight. All right, I'm back. Um, I haven't taught y'all in a minute. Uh, I am in Utah right now, look at this. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. I just left Nemecon, I just got back. I saw Matt, I saw Matt, and let me tell you, um, I was extremely nervous going in to see him. I wonder, you know, his first time being on camera like this, it's for, you know, I'll tell you what, well, if I get out of breath, because the elevation out here is kicking my ass. But I'll tell you what, Matt is being Matt and uh, we're gonna get the Matt we all love and adore. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Um, he's extremely happy. He loves the girls. The girls are here. He spoke so highly of them. There's so many great girls he says. Um, he's, really, he's really pushing himself, you know, to be vulnerable, to put himself out there. And I think you're gonna get a great season and a great Matt, and that's important, you know, to see who Matt really is. They had some fun, they messed with me a little bit, and you guys will get to enjoy it, you know, at my own expense, but uh, <laughs> it was great. It was awesome, and uh, Nemecon was absolutely beautiful. It's great, they are, you know, really going above and beyond there to, you know, all the safety protocols. But they're also doing above and beyond to make this an amazing experience for Matt and for the girls. You know, the dates I've heard about are just, so awesome, so much fun. It takes a lot of work to do it, so they are really going all in and uh, making this a great experience. I'm excited to see it. Uh, I'm excited to see how this ends here because Matt seems genuinely happy and, and you know, I think we're gonna get the end that we all want and have been missing for a little while. So I'm excited for this. But now, I'm going to explore Utah. It's one of my favorite places I've ever traveled to. It just it means so much to me. You'll understand later when I explain some more things through my life. I'm gonna do some hiking, gonna do uh, some exploring, gonna go down to Moab and go dirt bike, you know, or, or mountain biking and maybe get a side-by-side. -side. And uh, my arm's getting tired, but explore it. There's so much to see here. Maybe the salt flats. Time to have my little Utah vlog action. Love y'all, see y'all. Beautiful weather. I can wear a tank top here. Incredible. See y'all. I just want to share something with you. Utah is magical, okay? It is warm, I'm sweating, shirt's off, I'm out here. But there's snow on the ground. Right there, right there. Nice and refreshing. Unreal. Beautiful hike out here. Loving it, living it. I'll see how I get to the top or the next spot, whatever. So Blood Lake is where I'm at now. Next is to the peak of the mountain. I don't know the name of it yet. I forgot already. I think it's called like Canyon something. I don't know. But when I get there, I'll show you. But look at this. One last view. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit and take it in, have some water. Enjoy the beauty. This is such a Chris to Chris shot, but watch this. Ready? Found the moose. Try and give it a space. This is so cool. So massive. So beautiful. Give it his space. What's up, buddy? We're all good. We're just friends. Me and the moose. Unreal. I was walking right over there and looked right. He was like. He was like shuffling his feet at me. I was like, hell no, I want no problem. So I backed up, gave him his space. Now I'm just kind of watching him because he's such a magnificent creature. So beautiful. Heading off through the woods. Unreal. Definitely, definitely just made the whole trip right there. That is unreal. He's watching me. Don't worry, buddy. I'm giving you distance. Look at that rack on him. Holy cow. That is one beast I do not want to mess with. Unfreaking real. I'm shaking. My legs are shaking. All right, all right. He's off to his own now. Enough footage, but so freaking stuff. It's dark. 
but I'm here to the peak. This is it. The home stretch right here. The most elevation too. One foot from the other. Let's get it. All right, guys. I am not there yet, almost there, but I want y'all to see what the hell they got me climbing on. Look at these jagged ass rocks. There ain't no trail. Look behind me. I'm gonna stop like way over there. I was like, this has to be the stop. This has to be the top. This has to be. As I lost the trail. Where else can I go? Now I look up. I see two more people walking up here. I can't get stopped now. I gotta keep going. I can't be, can't be selling myself short. So, gotta climb up these rocks. Holy smokes, am I freaking out though? <laughs> We're in business. We're in business. Look what we got here. That's the flag. You're gonna walk with me to the last bit of the journey. Touch that flag. Clayton's Peak. Woo! Almost ate it. Whew. Look at that. Made it to the top. Let me get a song. Holy smokes! Woo! Look at this. Oh. On freaking real. Look at that little city over there. I mean, oh, this was probably the sketchiest, scariest hike I've ever done. Yeah, this is, I've seen this in a movie. This doesn't end well for a lot of people. At least in the movies. But uh, I got up here, man, and this is definitely top five. Like, you know, I don't like heights at all. So this is pushing myself to the all time limits. Um, but I'm proud of myself. Sometimes you gotta pat yourself on the back. This is one of those moments right here. You know, I really, once I got to that I really started doubting myself. But you put your head down, you put one foot in front of the other, you enjoy the journey, you'll get to the peak eventually. You'll get to the peak, and here I am. I'm gonna tune you guys out for a little bit, be by myself. And I gotta make the journey down. But boy, did I work up an appetite. Oh, grateful guys, very grateful. Ah, yeah, baby! Woo! Uh, I gotta touch you. All right, Haley, we're whipping up some, well, you're whipping up some sweet potatoes. <laughs> Don't try Some to Brussels sprouts. We got some swordfish over there. Ready, and voila. Wow! Haley! Mmm, look at that swordfish, golden sweet potatoes, and Brussels with a lot of bacon fat. <laughs> Happy boy. There she is. Day two. All right, I am back. Here I am in Moab. I rented a bike, rented a car, getting a room all by myself. A little solo dolo trip here. Excited. Supposed to be here for like a day. And I go back to Park City, but I don't think I'm going back. I might be here for like three days. Got my bike, got my helmet, got some good tunes. I'm ready to go, baby. How am I looking? Baby, can't you see? Never really been mountain biking before. You don't have mountains in Florida. So, I'm getting ready to go. I got me a camel back today. I bought myself some goose. I'm gonna show y'all my, my, my new wheels, my digs here. Ready for me to rip it? Here we go. Hey there, come here often. I'm gonna take y'all with me on my journey. Me, myself, and I for the next few days in Moab, most beautiful place in the world. I love the reds with the blues, it's unreal. So uh, hopefully I don't break the bike or myself. I'm gonna try and hit a black maybe. Let's see how the blues go first, but 
green to blue to black maybe we'll see what happens but uh let's rip it up blue's the look baby i'm ready to go see you on the trails all right so i made it to my first trail so far it was called lazy easy and uh it wasn't very easy and i wasn't really lazy i was working sway but uh not my next stop right here it's called dead man's ridge there it is here's the view right now it's a black and a blue the green was just really hard for me but all of a sudden an old guy rolled up on me so it's a great trail it's kind of hard but i can do it and when he said i can do it i was like man now i got no choice so i'm about to send it give it a shot hopefully on the other end of this video i'll be healthy so we'll see what happens all right here goes nothing all right Take a spill. Right there, you can see steep ass mountain. That's where I ran away from my bike. I went right over the handlebars. I kept running. That's good. So, what I'm gonna do now? You fail, you try again. And this time, the camera's gonna be watching. So, y'all gonna see me bust my ass or not? Let's see what happens. If you fail, you get back up and you try again. Here goes nothing. Slow, once you get back up, you try again, you get it. Woo! Back to the ride. Update, your boy is dead, your boy is tired. I am literally taking my pants off right now because they keep getting stuck in my seat. She's making me fall. I keep falling because I suck. I'm on this blue. I hope it's a blue. It is killing me. I don't think this bike life is for me, but I'm gonna get through it. But uh, I thought it was gonna be a two-day rental. Nope, definitely a one-day rental. We get back to finishing this bike ride. It's kicking my butt, man. Well, my day has come to an end. God dang it! I done broke the chain. I done broke it. Not supposed to look like that. So, time to walk my happy ass home. This sucks. I was hit my last loop. Trying to get in before four o'clock, but uh, hey, it's what it is. I'll walk my ass home, I guess. Damn it. That's it for today. Maybe there's an adventure tonight, who knows? See you in a little bit. It's happening. Sunset is here, baby. Sunset, there's people around, so I'm trying to be quiet, but absolutely stunning and beautiful. What a way in the night! I am so, 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 so happy, so thankful, so grateful. God bless this beautiful place, Utah. I love you so much. My third time here, and it only gets better and better. Much love, Utah. Wow, I thought this was a photo. My bad. <laughs> Utah, still my number one in the world. Over any place I ever traveled to, Utah is always a so happy, so grateful. God's country people, best place in the world. I'm having way too much fun by myself. You don't need nobody else as long as you're happy. And I've been battling to get happy. I'm, this trip has been eat, pray, love, man. I've laughed, I've cried, I've had fun. All I gotta say is God is good, God is great. I was leaving and then it was too pretty, so I parked the car, I got out back, and I'm just chilling at my own little concert right now. A whole lot smarter, and I'm still gonna mess up. I'm still gonna do stupid things. But those who stay with me, if you rock with me, you rock with me. If you don't, you don't. If you rock with me, I love you, I appreciate you, I always got you. But man, I'm so happy right now. God is good all the time, man. It's been a dark year. I've hurt, I'm hurt, I've been hurt. But man, I'm gonna get out of this, I'm gonna climb out of this. This is all a self-healing trip, man. Utah has changed my life, but this place is so special to me. 
and uh, to be back here in a time of need, like you don't think you need something until you get it, you know what I mean? And this place has got me right, this place has got me feeling great about myself again, excited about the future, you know, even though I don't know what the future is, but it's, you know, this gets me back to my whole thing, just put one foot in front of the other, put yourself, put yourself in uncomfortable situations and see what happens. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. It's been a long time for me to really, really say that and mean that. And look, there ain't nobody with me. Just me and my lonesome self. That's tough. That's tough to do. That's been. That's been. That's why I've been surrounding myself with so many people so long. It's because I've been struggling with. I just been making distractions so I don't have to think about things. I've cried on this trip. Driving here, cried. I've laughed on this trip. I've eaten a lot on this trip. I've pushed myself so much on this trip. That hike, that bike. I, I'm not made for uh, dirt uh, mountain biking, but this trip has been so healing. And anybody going through something, come to Utah. This place will heal you. There's, there's so much out here for you. Amazing things are happening. Happiest I've been in a long time. All because of Utah healing me. Love you guys. Forever be good. 999. I also want to show what 999 means. So the devil is 666. But if you flip the devil, put him on his head and get rid of his ass, it's 999. So 999 means all good. Something I learned from Juice World, who's my all time favorite, favorite artist. Uh, it means so much to me. And that was his message about 999. He always put that at the end of everything he did was 999. And uh, some, that's a message I'm gonna continue to carry. You know, flip those demons, get them out of you. And that 666, get it out. 999 forever, man. Good things coming. Happiness, love. Let's go. 999, love y'all. But hey, this is night for me. Time to go hopefully get a room somewhere and get dinner. Uh, good night, I love y'all. I'm on a rant. Uh, Chris Brown, we have to cut this shit out somehow. Miss y'all boys and uh, see y'all soon. Good night.